Hey everybody, my name is Sean V. Bradley. I've been in the automotive industry for about 15 years and uh, I don't want to sell you anything. I just want to give you some free advice. Over the last 15 years, I learned a lot about how to buy an automobile. So if you're in the market to buy a new vehicle, here's some tips that I want to give you on how to choose the right dealership and obviously how to get the absolute best deal. Stop. So you guys see how I did that? I could create a video on how to buy a car. I could also give a video on how to buy a used car. Hey everybody, my name is Sean V. Bradley. I've been in the car business for about 15 years. I love this industry and I know that you're searching for a used car and I want to kind of uh, break down the difference between a pre-owned vehicle, a certified pre-owned vehicle, and how you could actually get the absolute best value for your dollar if you're buying a pre-owned or certified pre-owned vehicle. Stop. That's another video I could do. And what am I basically doing? I am basically creating um, you know, like a series of videos that puts me in a position of authority of expertise. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, what else can I come with? You guys specialize in credit. Hey everybody, my name is Sean B. Bradley. Um, I've been a, in the automotive industry for about 15 years. I was a special finance director. That basically means that I worked for years with people that had bad credit or no credit, and I got people approved that you would never even imagine. So I learned a lot working with the banks and lending institutions. I want to give you some tips. So if you've got bad credit or no credit on how you could get that car of your dreams or get you into that vehicle that you so need to get yourself to work and get your kids to daycare or whatever it is you need, stop. I could do another one is that, hey folks, this is Sean B. Bradley, uh, Special Finance Director for Eons, and I wanted to give you some you know, advice. Right now with the holidays are going on, you're spending money, this and everything, and what do you do if, God forbid, you lost your job and you had a car loan? Before you turn around and turn a bad situation worse, I don't know if you know this, but I would suggest that don't just stop paying your, you know, uh, your bank and, and dodge the repo people. What you should do is contact the financial institution that you have your loan through and explain the situation because believe it or not, more often than not, they'll actually defer it. They'll put a freeze on your account and they'll just put it on the back end. Most people don't even realize that. So before you go bad or make a bad situation worse, re you know, stop. You see the tips that I'm giving? Guys. I could come up with this shit all day long. Boom, boom, boom. I'm, you got to come up with a whole series of information videos. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I've written over 1,000 published articles in magazines in the last 10 years. I've written for 13 different national magazines. I have my own column for seven years in Auto Success Magazine. I've written for awards. I've written for Auto Dealer Monthly. And I've been on 16 covers of national magazines from every magazine. The reason why I do that, how much do you think I get paid to do all that stuff? Nuts. I get nothing. I get nothing. But guess what I get? I get people coming out of the woodworks that reads my articles. I, I get emails. I got Facebook posts all the time of people reading my information saying, Sean, can you help me? Sean, any tips? Sean, any this? Now, guess what's coming up in a, in a couple weeks? NADA, the National Automobile Dealer Association. I am for the fourth time an NADA convention speaker. This is like the Super Bowl for speakers. I'm telling this right now, this is not exaggerating. I'm on record saying this is being recorded. The NADA convention is like the Super Bowl for vendors, trainers, and speakers. It is very, very difficult. There's people that have been in the industry 25 years and don't get accepted to speak. It's my fourth year speaking. I usually charge when I work with companies, like, um, like corporate companies, I charge $10,000 a day to speak. That's what my rate is for companies, $10,000 a day. Guess how much NADA pays me? Not in guts, a little bit. They, they pay for my hotel. That's nice of them, right? They pay for my hotel and they caught me, and they caught me into their event. But my point being is, you know how much money I made uh, probably two years ago at NADA in, in three days? How much do you think somebody can make at NADA in three days? No, almost a million dollars. I mean, $800,000 in three days. That's my word. $800,000 in three days. Not all cash up front. We probably did about... 170,000 up front, uh, and then the rest is in residual contracts. Do you think it was worth me going out there for them paying for my hotel? Hell yes, because I'm in a position of authority, I'm in a position of expertise. I speak at 20 groups, I speak for the associations. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be the keynote speaker in January at the Boston uh, Car Show. So I'm gonna be speaking for like an hour for a bunch of dealers at the Boston Car Show. I speak at the Greater New York Dealer Association, the Detroit Dealer Association. New York pays me 700 bucks. Really? 
10 grand a day, I get $700. But guess what? I had Toyota Manufacture go there just to see me, and I'm probably gonna be working with Toyota Manufacture now. Crazy. So my point being is that if you are in a position of expertise, if you're in a position of authority, if you're in a position where people deem you credible and important, guess what? If they're in the market to turn around and buy from you, they will because you secure that position without trying to sell them, sell them, sell them, sell them. My whole entire model at Dealer Synergies has been built on this concept is by giving a tremendous amount of information. I have the AutomotiveInternetSales.com website that you guys are on. I have 3,200 dealers on there. 3,200 dealers. I guess how much money I've invested in that site? Man, we're pushing almost 400 grand in technology. And what you guys don't know is in the end of, by the end of January, I've got the new AIS Automotive Internet Sales 3.0 site complete front end, back end. Guess how much money I make on the site? Zero dollars. I put almost a half a million dollars cash into programming, development, content for years. Why? Because I have a tremendous amount of people that go there, thousands and thousands of people a month go there, and they call us up, hey, we saw the article, we saw the blog post, we saw your video. Now, this year's almost over. I don't know if you guys see my videos. Every single Monday for the entire 2013, so I've done 51 or 52, I think I'm done, yeah. I think I've done, no, I got one more this Monday. So I've done 51 Make Money Monday sessions. Every Monday I drop a video, Make Money Mondays. And people are like, they watch them, and I get emails all the time, yo, I love that, can you do this one? Why? I put so much information out there. I've got, I'm not worried about them taking that information and not hiring me. It's, it's easy to turn around and give the information. What's hard is implementing it and doing it the right way and making yourself accountable. Does that make sense? So the reason why I'm putting this here is so you have this, this is one of my secrets, is that by creating yourself as a subject matter expert, you have a position of power and authority. Does that make sense? Now.